You have seen in line integral how curve in space is parametrized to a single t axis. Just like that we will learn how to parametrize a 3D surface into a plane. Okay, our goal right now is to find a double integral formula for calculating the area of the sphere based on the parametrization. Okay. If you partial differentiate this parametrization with respect to u and v axis, then geometrically it can be represented in terms of tangent vectors. For instance, if v is held constant, then this parametrization is a vector valued function of a single parameter and defines a curve that lies on the surface of our sphere. Its partial derivative is tangent to our surfaces. The same goes if u is held constant. Now take any point in the UV plane. This point can be mapped to a point in surface in 3D space. The partial derivative at that point can be found, which is a vector. Notice these two unit tangent vectors creates a plane which is tangent to our surface. Now in UV plane, at that point, take a tiny infinitesimal piece of rectangle. The length and width of this rectangle can be mapped to our unit tangent vectors of our surfaces. Now, take the cross product of these two vectors. What will you get? The cross product of these two vectors is another vector perpendicular to this plane. So this new vector is perpendicular to our surfaces. The magnitude of this new vector is area of this parallelogram. And the area of this parallelogram can be nearly approximated with the area of this infinitesimal small surface or the area of this curved patch element. That's the area for one patch element. Now, in order to calculate the total area of this whole patch of sphere, we need to sum up every rectangle of this UV plane. This summation is done by double integral. So, if you integrate the area of this rectangle, you get the area of this sphere. You can use this formula to calculate surface area of an parametrized 3D surface. But many times you would encounter a surface which are not parametrized. The other surface you will encounter will either be an explicit or an implicit function. If a surface is in implicit form, you can use this formula. Or if a surface is in explicit form, then you can use this formula to calculate surface area. If you understand, really understand, how to use these three formulas, then one thing is for sure, you can easily master the vector calculus course. In Stokes theorem, divergence theorem, and computing surface integrals, computing these differential patch element is very important. Once you understand how it is obtained, calculation would be very easy. I have showed how this parametrized formula has arrived. Now, it's your homework to understand the derivation of these two formulas. If you understand the derivation of this parametrized surface area, then understanding these two is quite easy. Now, let's understand how to use these three formulas. Let's use these tools on finding the surface area of this paraboloid, which is cut by a plane Z is equal to 4 in space. First, sketch the surface. This is an explicit function. Looking at our formula sheet, we can use this formula for calculating surface area. Now, partial differentiate this explicit function with respect to x and then with respect to y. Then the surface area is given by this double integration. Now, in order to find the region R, 
project this paraboloid in the x y plane which is circle of radius 2 now just double integrate over the region of this circle you will get the area of this paraboloid now let's solve the same problem using parametrization method you will soon see that the area would be same first parametrize the parabola now partial differentiate it now calculate the cross product of these two vectors now we require the magnitude of their cross product finally integrate this magnitude over the circle the answer would be same now let's solve the same problem using the implicit method first convert this explicit function to implicit function now compute its gradient therefore the magnitude of gradient is now you need to find the unit p vector if you project this paraboloid into x z plane then unit p vector is equal to unit j vector but the projection is not one to one and you can't double integrate over this region there is another way you can project it on x y plane then the projection is one to one in this case unit p vector is equal to unit k vector which is normal to our circle now calculate the magnitude of gradient in the direction of unit k vector finally double integrate over the circle the area would be same now we can calculate the area of any surface by summing up each of these tiny patches of surfaces if the surface is parametrized then we can unwrap the surface into a uv axis and double integrate the area of this plane or if the surface is not parametrized then we can convert it to an implicit function project the function into the plane capturing its gradient vectors and compute the area by this formula in both cases we evaluated the surface area now if you integrate a functions over the area of a surface then what you are computing is surface integrals for example you might want to compute mass at each point on the surface and if the mass per unit area on each point of a surface is given by this equation then evaluating this surface integral gives the total mass of this object this is a scalar function in this chapter we will focus mostly on surface integral of a vector field now 